In this video, we are going to solve a problem to figure out which of these shapes has the largest perimeter, given that they have equal areas. This problem came from brilliant.org. This is the URL here, and that's their logo. Um, specifically, these are an equilateral triangle, a circle, and a square, and they all have equal areas. So the way we're going to figure this out is we're going to write some functions, or I've already written these functions. We're going to go through these functions that take the area of the shape as the input and outputs the perimeter. And then we're going to test out the functions and see which one outputs the highest perimeter. So let's start with circle. So the perimeter of a circle in terms of its area is 2 times pi times the square root of the area over pi. And to see that, uh, recall that the circumference or perimeter of a circle is 2 times pi times the radius, and the radius is the square root of the area over pi. And we know that because the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, and just solve for r and plug that in. And we have our function here that takes area as an input and outputs uh, that expression. Next we have square, which is even more straightforward than circle. So the perimeter of a square is just four times the length of the side, and the area is the side squared, which means that the side is the square root of the area, and that's what we have here and there's our function. For the triangle, the perimeter, specifically of an equilateral triangle, is three times the square root of two times the area over the cosine of pi over six. So how did we get there? So here we have an equilateral triangle with sides of length length b, so the perimeter is just 3 times b, and b is the square root of 2 times the area over the cosine of pi over 6. Um, so plug that in, and that's how you get that. But how do we know that this is true? So we have the area of any triangle, which is 1 half base times height, and the height is the cosine uh, the height for an uh, equilateral triangle is the cosine of pi over 6 times the base, and plug that into the area and solve for b, and that's how you get that. But how do we know that this is true? So the height of an equilateral triangle uh, forms two symmetrical right triangles. And if you imagine an angle here that is being split by this dotted line, h, the side opposite that angle is uh, the base divided by 2. The adjacent side is the height, and the hypotenuse is the base. So the angle, the theta, of that uh, right triangle of each of those two symmetrical right triangles is pi over 6, which means that the cosine of pi over 6 is equal to h over b, and multiply both sides by b, you get h is cosine of pi over 6 times b. And how do we know that this angle is pi over 6? So if we zoom in to the, the angle where h uh, splits it down the middle, uh, we know that this original angle is pi over 3, and since this is symmetrical, we know that it's split in half. So 1 half of pi over 3 is pi over 6. How do we know that each angle is pi over 3? So the sum of the angles of any triangle is pi radians, or half a turn, and triangles have three angles, and equilateral triangles have equal angles, so we just divide by 3. So that's how we know that, and we know that the cosine of pi over 6 
is h over b because the definition of a cosine is it's the adjacent over hypotenuse, which uh, corresponds to h and b here. So that's how we get that. And finally, we have our function that takes the area as input and outputs the perimeter. So let's finally test this out with some input and output. So for each of the functions here, um, I'm calling each of those functions in the output here passing in the input which is defined here so as we change the input the output changes accordingly and we can see that the triangle has the highest which is also confirmed here where we're looking at the name of the max output so we have solved the problem and thus concludes this video